thought if this was their way of of passing their eggs on and they all landed down here, why well, we may be up to our ears and spiders. No, this isn't a Halloween prank. We're told it's a completely natural process. Once the spider eggs are hatched, the babies then release a silk from their abdomen. It's real lightweight and these spiderlings are so tiny and microscopic that then the wind will just carry that silk along. The process is called ballooning, where the wind carries away the baby spiders in search of a new home. But the flying baby spiders might not survive the ballooning process. Most of them are going to land, get caught in places, and they don't find food. Something else eats them right away. They don't make it. But if there's hundreds of them going out, you know, a few of them are going to end up someplace good. According to Stockman, the spiders are in no way becoming an infestation. She says humans shouldn't worry. They should be happy. Like I said, you know, you should leave your spiders. You should leave your spiders. They're excellent pest control for things that do carry diseases like flies. Well, whether you've witnessed babies ballooning or not, we're told it occurs about twice a year. Abigail Ogle, KOCO 5 News.